Hello and welcome to today's pantry soap making. Today we're going to be making a ground rice and green tea soap. As part of our sodium hydroxide, instead of just using water, we're actually going to be using ice for half of it and we're using a green tea infusion with the other half. So all we've actually done is taken some green tea bags and infused it to make exactly like you'd make a cup of tea. So the first part of this is to make up our lye solution. So we're just going to pour the lye granules over the ice and they'll very, very quickly start to melt all of the ice cubes. Just gently stir it until it dissolves. Now using rice was actually one of the requests from one of our subscribers on YouTube. And we thought about different ways that we could utilize rice. We're going to be using rice bran oil and we're using ground rice in ours. So we're using two different elements. We also thought that green tea would be a nice complementary ingredient to go with the rice. But there are many other things that you could use too. For example, we could have used the rice water, so the water from cooking your rice. And it's actually great for things like a hair rinse. It's got a mild acidity to it. It would be great in here if you wanted to add that too. And you could also use something like rice milk, but we're sticking with these two. So now we have our lye solution half prepared because we've melted it down with the ice. And now we're going to add the green tea into the lye solution to complete that element. And just give it a really good stir. Make sure that there are no granules of the lye left. And then we're ready for the next phase where we start actually mixing up our soap. So we've already warmed our oils and in here we have our rice bran oil, we have our palm oil and our coconut oil. And then we're just simply going to mix this by adding the lye solution. Remember that's already got the green tea in there. And we'll take this to a medium trace. And we just want that soap starting to thicken. Do you see how much darker it's already gone? This is going to go a really nutty brown colour when we're mixing, but it won't stay that colour. It will lighten up considerably. The Pantry Soap Making Series is all about you just experimenting and having fun kind of celebration of soap making and it's all about utilizing ingredients that you have in your home or that you can buy from regular local stores. So the green tea, you've probably got green tea bags um, or green tea leaves, you can certainly use those, ground rice or rice powder. We are adding an essential oil into this and we've decided that we're going to add peppermint essential oil because it goes really nicely with the green tea. But if you don't have the essential oil, you don't have to add it in. So omit that if you don't want it fragranced. And give that a good mixing in. And then we're going to add in the ground rice. Now the ground rice is gonna give us a nice light exfoliation. Always make sure that it's fully stirred in. And then we've chosen to add in one tea bag of loose green tea, and that's about two and a half grams. You can probably hear my dog Pippin barking. That probably means there's a bird in the garden. And that's nicely thickened now. So we're gonna just pour this into our mold. Look how creamy and smooth that is. It's a really lovely consistency. You can of course choose to add more or less of the green tea. You could use a black tea instead if you wanted to. This is gonna be much paler by tomorrow. And that is looking absolutely gorgeous. Well, I really hope that you get the chance to make this soap as well. We would love to hear from you and find out what type of soaps you're making at the moment. Please do subscribe to our channel if you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to click on the bell if you'd like notifications every time we bring you a new video. We hope to see you soon and don't forget to comment in the box. Bye for now.